What's going on guys? Andrew Pillick Hockey here back again with another video. This is game five. The preview. Maple Leafs versus Lightning in one of the most important games of basically this era of Leafs hockey. So if you're new here and you love videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Join the squad. I know there's a ton of you guys that watch these videos that aren't subscribed. And I just finished working a nine and a half hour shift and it's midnight and I'm still making this video. So please like this video. Even if you don't want to subscribe, please support by just clicking like. It does help a lot. But this game is huge. We've been here before. And we don't need to talk about it. But we've been here before, right? So the way I make these videos, it's very intricate and I go over all the numbers and I show stuff, but I'm going to be brief with the numbers because I want to actually have a real conversation. The Leafs are up 3-1. Um, <laughs> this is a recording. They did this before. The Leafs are up 3-1 against Tampa, one of the best teams in the league, three times in a row, Stanley Cup Finals, two-time champs. This is one of the best teams that we've seen over the last, I guess, seven years, right? At least. This is a good team. They've been building for a long time. Samsonov and Vasilevsky will be in goal, not having the greatest series uh, is Vasilevsky. Samsonov has been hot and cold in the, the same game, which is crazy. Marner's got 10 points leading the way. Kucherov has six. Same thing with the assists. Both those guys are in there. Matthews has three, Sorelli has two, Samsonov with three wins, and of course Vasilevsky with one. And because of home ice advantage, this game will be in Toronto. A chance to lock down the series in your own barn, in your own city. The Maple Leafs have a chance to rewrite all their wrongs from previous years. This is a chance to slay the demons. This is a chance to be the team that everybody thought they could be and win some playoff games. Win a round, at least. At the very least. They should have done that two, three years ago. This is the time to do it now. Win in dominant fashion. Panthers just took the Bruins to game six. Whatever happens in that series, that's the team we're playing. Boston or Florida? More than likely Boston. But you never know. I don't even know what to say. This is just nerve-wracking. I'm anxious. I'm ready as a fan. And I'm hoping the team is. Bunting, back from suspension, won't be in the lineup from what we've seen. Matthew Nye's promoted to that second line permanently. Well, for now. The kid has played so well. And they've won three games in a row. You can't switch up the lineup. You can't take these guys out. I thought Lafferty might be the odd man out, but it looks like Michael Bunting's just going to sit out. So, in that previous game, being down 4-1 with like 10 minutes left, deja vu, it's like they slayed that demon as well. Being down 4-1. Matthews with two. Riley with another one. And then Kerfoot with the magical tip. Man, Kerfoot, of all people, Kerfoot gets us right back in there and wins the game. It's, it's, like, it's like a movie, right? But just like Cody Rhodes in the WWE says, if you're a wrestling fan, you got to finish the story. Now, Cody didn't finish his story at WrestleMania, but maybe, maybe the Maple Leafs can do what he didn't at WrestleMania in California. I was in the building at that. The Leafs got to win this game. They have to win. It's so important. They're a team that's destined to finally do something. And this is just the first round. We're talking like this is the Stanley Cup, but this is just the first round. We need the big guns to step up in this game. We need Matthews, we need Marner, we need Nylander, we need Tavares. We need that steady production from Morgan Riley. We need that secondary scoring from guys like Kerfoot and Achari. We, we need Matt Nyes to keep playing the way he's played. They got to get a little bit more heavy in front of their net. 
they got to get a little bit more solid defensively. And Samsonov, while he's played good in the second half of these games, he's got to have a good start. Because we can't keep risking it going down two, three goals to Tampa. We got to get those goals fast and furious like we were in game two. They got to play like game two in game five. Win in dominant fashion. I think they can pull it off. I really do. I think that this team finally has it. They look much better. It just feels better. Like coming back from that 4-1 game has to have that mentality of we can do this. And like I've been saying, it's all up here and it's been up here. This team is way too talented to not win hockey games. It's always been up here. They've always found ways to screw up when they need to win the most. And this time, they're in the driver's seat. This time, they have a chance to, like I said, rewrite all their wrongs. So I want you guys to leave in the comments down below. What do you think is going to happen? What's the score going to be? Can they do it? Do you believe? Do you think this team has what it takes to win this game and move on to the next round? If you're new here, like this video and subscribe. Join the squad. I'd love to have you guys here. Like I said, leave your prediction down below for the game. I love and appreciate you guys. Go Leafs go. Leafs in five. Peace.